We have seen introduction about binary trees. Today let us see binary search trees. Binary search tree also known as order or sorted binary tree. It is a variation of binary tree in which the nodes are arranged in an order. The nodes of tree stores a key. In addition to key, optionally we can have associated value and each node has two subtrees. Tree additionally satisfy the binary search tree property. The key in each node is greater than any key stored in left subtree and less than or equal to any key stored in the right subtree. Binary search trees support three main operations, lookup or search, insertion and deletion of an element. Search operation will not modify the tree, but insertion and deletion can change binary search tree representations dynamically. So, Data structure must be modified in such a way that properties of binary search tree continue to hold. Let us see insertion operation. New nodes are inserted as a leaf nodes in binary search tree. Initially tree is empty. Suppose we want to add node A to binary search tree. Simply we can add it. This new node 8 can become root of the tree. Again, if you want to insert 3 into this binary search tree, for insertion, we should start from root and we need to find where this new node will fit in the tree according to binary search tree property. Here, 3 is less than 8, so insert it as the left child to 8. Again, if you want to insert 10, 10 greater than 8, so insert it as the right child to 8. Now we want to insert 1, again start from root. 1 less than 8 so traverse down to left subtree again 1 less than 3 so insert it as a left child to 3 insert 6 again start from root node 8 6 less than 8 so go to left subtree here 6 greater than 3 so insert it as a right child to 3 insert 14 again start from root 8 14 greater than 8 go to right subtree again 14 greater than 10, insert it as right child to node 10. Similarly, 4 will be inserted as left child to node 6. And node 7 as right child to 6. And finally, 13 will be inserted as left child to 14. We already know that new nodes are inserted as leaf nodes in BSD. We need to find new node correct position according to binary search tree property. This insertion process can be divided into three cases. If value to be inserted less than root of the key, then records down to the left subtree. If the value to be inserted greater than or equal to root of the key, records down to the right subtree. If we find the null leaf, then create new node with value to be inserted. That new node will be attached to either left subtree or right subtree of its parent based on its value. This is the recursive procedure for BST insertion. Here, this key is the value to be inserted and this local variable root is the root of the tree passed to this insert function. If tree is empty, if tree is empty, root of the tree will be null, then new node will be created and its address will be returned. If key less than root key, then recursively call the insert function on left subtree of current root. If key greater than or equal to root key, this else case, then recursively call this insert function on right subtree of current root. Let us see how this recursive function will work with example. Initially, tree is empty, so root will be null. If you want to insert 8 into binary search tree, this insert function will be called with this null root and key 8. Here, this root will get null and this key will get value 8. So, here root is null, so new node will be created with key 8. This newly created node address will be stored within this root and that root will be written. 
so assume this is the main stack frame and this is the insert function stack frame instead of this root here i am using r so this node will be created with key 8 initially this left child and right child will be null so this new node address 1024 will be returned so this function will return the 1024 so in the main root was null so this root will be updated with this new address if we want to insert we insert function will be called with new root 8 actually it is its address 1024 so here key 3 less than root key 8 again recursive call will be made with left sub tree and with key 3 so same insert function will be called one more time here left sub tree is null so this r will be null so this condition is satisfied create node function will be called so new node will be created with value 3 now this new node is created with key 3 and its address 1056 will be returned to its calling function in this inner recursive call root is null but within this recursive call root is 8 so this left sub tree will be updated with this new node address so left child of this node will be updated with 1056 so this function will also return root here it is address of root node 8 previous root in this main function is also 8 so root of this entire tree will remain 8 only similarly insert 10 insert function will be called with root 8 and key 10 here 10 greater than this root key 8 so insert function will be called on this height subtree here right subtree is null so the local variable root is null so new node will be created with this key 10 and its address will be written the written address will be stored within the previous root previous root was 8 so previous root right child will get this 1088 address so this new node address will be stored within this root right child here null will be updated with this 1088 to insert one three recursive calls will be made since one less than eight so insert column left sub tree will be called again one less than current root three so insert will be called on left sub tree so here left sub tree is null so within this function call root is null new node will be created this one and its address will be return that will be stored within this previous root left child so this three left child will be updated with new node address 1120 insert this six six less than eight so insert recursive call will be made on left sub tree but here six greater than three so recursive call will be made on right sub tree but here right sub tree is null this recursive call this r will get this null value so new node will be created with this key 6 so this is the new node so this new node address will be written this new node address would be stored within the right chain of this previous root so this new node address is stored within this previous root right child so now this three right child is updated with this new node address 1152 again this function will also return root address here your current root is 3 that will be returned to previous recursive call so in previous recursive call this is the root root left child is already 1056 again this function will also return root it will return the address 1024 in main also 1024 root is there so here also root will not be modified to insert for four less than this eight so insert call will be made on this left sub tree here this is the before insertion of four this is the entire tree so left sub tree will be this part again four greater than three so insert call will be made on this right sub tree here right sub tree will be 
in this part again for less than this six so again insert car will be made on left subtree yeah before insertion of four left subtree of six is null insert function will be called with left subtree as null with key four so here root is null so new node will be created its address will be written to previous root left child so uh, this left child previously it was null will be updated with this 12 16 new node address similarly after insertion of 7 14 and 13 this will be the tree new node will be inserted at the leaf level so in insertion we need to traverse till some leaf node so time complexity of binder search tree insertion is order of h here h is the height of the tree but in worst case binder search tree insertion will take order of n time here n is the total number of nodes within the binder search tree this time complexity will depend on the order of the insertion of the node suppose if i insert one then two then three or here tree is not balanced so it will be like linker list if binary search tree is balanced then height will be or of login so insertion will take big of login time if we have tree like this this is the balance tree so here insertion will be big of login time we have seen insertion operation let us see search operation in binary search tree Searching in binary search tree for specific key can be programmed recursively or iteratively. Searching begins by examining root node. If the tree is null, the key being searched for does not exist within the tree. Otherwise, if the key equals to that of root, the search is successful and the node is returned. This root will be returned. If the key less than the root, the search proceeds by examining left subtree similarly if key greater than root search proceeds by examining right subtree this process will be repeated until key is found or remaining subtree is null hence this is the base case if the search key is not found after null subtree is reached then key is not present within the tree let's consider this tree here 8 is the root and we want to search whether 15 is there within this tree or not this 8 will be passed as root and key is 15 here root 8 which is not null and root key 8 which is not equal to 15 here this key which is greater than root key 8 again search procedure will be called on right subtree so this is the right subtree here this is the root 10 so now 15 will be compared with this right subtree root 10 again 15 greater than 10 again search procedure will be called on right subtree here root is 14 again 15 compared with right subtree root 14 again this key 15 greater than this root 14 so recursive procedure will be called on right subtree but for this 14 there is no right child means here we have null again with that subtree null recursive search procedure will be called in that case root will be null so that null will be returned when this recursive search procedure returns null that means key is not present within the tree here this 15 is not within this tree let us take one more example let us search whether 4 is there within this tree or not now key is 4 that will be compared with the root of the tree 8 4 is less than 8 so search procedure will be called recursively on the left subtree now this 4 will be compared with 3 now this 4 is greater than 3 again search will be called on this right subtree here root is 6 so now key will be compared with the right subtree key 4 is less than 6 so again recursive procedure will be called with left subtree and this key 4 here left subtree key is 4 now 
now this 4 will be compared with left subtray root 4 with this left subtray root key 4 and search key 4 both are equal so this root will be returned when this search function returns non null value means that search key is found when we search for the key 4 on this tree it will return with this node and when we search for the 15 on this tree this search processor will return null search function returns null means that this search key is not present within the tree in bst search we need to traverse still some leaf node in bst search we need to traverse still leaf node so time complexity of binary search tree search operation is we go of h here h is height of the tree in the worst case binary search tree search operation will take we go of n time when tree is unbalanced if binary search tree is balanced then height will be log n so in balanced vs tree search operation will take big of log n time and the time complexity of operations such as insertion and search the binary search tree is directly proportional to the height of the tree this is the complete program for binary search tree insertion and searching here i am using the linked representation of trees this is the node structure for binary search tree node pointer to left child and then key and pointer to right child initially root will be null suppose if we insert 8 this insert function will be called see here this is the insert function we will get root of the tree initially it will be null and the value we want to insert into tree that will come into this key here we have three cases if when we reach the null leaf then we have to create the node and that node address will be returned to calling function if key less than root key then insert function will be called recursively on the left subtree with the same key the return value will be assigned to root left child similarly the value we want to insert into tree greater than or equal to root key then insert function recursively calls on right subtree with the same key the return value will be assigned to root right child here this create node function will create the node it will take the value passed from here and it will allocate the memory on the heap key value will be stored whichever the value we pass to this function initially this left child and right child will be null that new node address will be returned that return value will be assigned here this search function is also very similar to insert function if root equal to null that root will be returned if root key value equal to key being searched then that root will be returned if key less than root then search will call recursively on the left subtree with the same key else if key greater than root key search procedure will call on the right subtree of the root here both of this insert and search functions will return binary search tree node so return type is struct node here suppose if we enter all these values and we try to search for this key 15 then this search function will be executed and it will return some node here this 15 is not there within this tree so null will be written if this result is null then we can print element not found within the tree if this result is not null means we found some key so we can print element found this is the same program here i am executing this program here we are calling the search function with this key 15 these are the elements we inserted into tree that search key 15 which is not there within the tree so element not found is printed here here i am not printing the entire tree in next class we will see tree traversing techniques in order pre-order and post-order